Okay, so here we have an ALU circuit that has 12 different inputs and 12 different operations going into our main chip over here, which is our LPM MUX chip. And on the inside, the settings we have it set to are having 12 different inputs for our 12 different operations, and each of the inputs are 8 bits. Then over here, we have special gates. These aren't usual gates. We have, uh, they're all LPM, so that way we can set uh, how many bits can go in and out. Uh, we have it set to 2 for all of them because we have 2 inputs, an A and a B, and then we have uh, each, uh, each lead 8 bits wide. Um, and the different gates we have are, we have an AND, a NAND, an OR, a NOR, NOT A, NOT B, XOR, XNOR, ADD, SUBTRACT, MULTIPLY, and DIVIDE. And over here for our selector are every, uh, of what each pin is assigned to, and that's what you're going to put in on your set input over here, a number between uh, 0 to 11 for each different operation, and then it's all going to one output because we're going to be getting one number generated depending on the operation. Then once you have the circuit set up like this, um, other than having to set 8 bits, for the add and subtract ones you have to make sure, because they're, the, they're both the same chip, but you have to make sure the add one is checked off to add only and the subtract one is set to subtract only. The multiply and divide ones are pretty much the same on the inside. Um, and then once you have this entire circuit set up and ready to go, you can compile it, and then you will be taken to your vector wave file, which then you can pick your A value and your B value. I have 23 set to my A and 62 set to my B. And then I select 0 all the way through B, which is... Uh, zero all through all the way through 11 for each individual of my outputs and then uh, these these are my different answers I got that are doing each individual operation for example if we were to take a look at gate 5 so that's X or so let's go back here and let's bring up the calculator and then set to hex and then if I do 23 X or 62 my answer for 5 is 41, so that works, that's fine. And we could try out another one. Alright, 11 is anding, so if we go over here, uh, B, which is 11, is anding, so we'll bring back out our calculator, and we'll do 23 and, and 62, and that'll give us 22, our answer for B. Alright, so that is how you create a working ALU chip with 12 different inputs, uh, and that's it.